Good evening. My name is Randa Jarar. I'm a Palestinian Egyptian American writer. Um, my novel is called A Map of Home. I'm going to be reading a poem by Taha Muhammad Ali, a poet who was forced to leave his small village in the Galilee in 1948 um, during the Arab Israeli War when the Israeli troops came in and destroyed his village. He fled to Lebanon, and then a year later, when he was still a teenager, crossed over and is now still settled in Nazareth, um, where he writes poetry, reads poetry, and runs a small souvenir shop. So if you're ever in Nazareth, go say hi to Taha. And this poem is called Revenge. Revenge. At times, I wish I could meet in a duel the man who killed my father and raised our home, expelling me into a narrow country. And if he killed me, I'd get to rest at last. And if I were ready, I would take my revenge. But if it came to light when my, when my rival appeared, that he had a mother waiting for him, or a father who'd put his right hand over the heart's place in his chest whenever his son was late, by even a quarter of an hour for a meeting they'd previously set, then I would not kill him, even if I could. Likewise, I would not murder him if it were soon made clear that he had a brother or sisters who loved him and constantly longed to see him, or if he had a wife to greet him, and children who couldn't bear his absence and whom his, his gifts would thrill. Or if he had friends, if he had companions, neighbors he knew, or allies from prison, from a hospital room, classmates from his school, asking about him and sending him regards. But if he turned out to be on his own, cut off like a branch from a tree, without a mother, without a father, with neither a brother nor a sister, wifeless, without a child, and without kin or neighbors or friends, without colleagues, without companions, then I'd add not a thing to his pain within that aloneness, not the torment of death, and not the sorrow of passing away. Instead, I'd be content to ignore him when I passed him by on the street, as I convinced myself that paying him no attention was in itself a kind of revenge. Thank you so much.